Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics, the chapter Polynomials. Here are the questions and solutions from exercise 3.3 and this is part 1 video. In this video, we will learn the solutions of question number 1 and question number 2 of exercise 3.3. Here is the chapter Polynomials and this is exercise 3.3 and this is question number 1. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. I shall repeat. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomials and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Here you see the first quadratic polynomial given is x square minus 2x minus 8. It is a quadratic polynomial. Now we have to find the zeros for this quadratic polynomial. After finding zeros, we know that there is a relationship between zeros and the coefficients. For example, if you consider the first zero as alpha and the second zero as beta, alpha plus beta sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a and product of the zeros alpha into beta is equal to c by a. We have to verify those two relationships now. Let us see this. First bit given the polynomial P of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8. Now let us find the zeros. In order to find the zeros, let us factorize this. Now in order to factorize a quadratic polynomial, I have to get the product of coefficient of x square and constant term. Coefficient of x square is 1. Nothing is there means it is 1x square 1. Coefficient of x square is 1 and the constant number is minus 8. Then product of a into c that is coefficient of x square and constant term is 1 into minus 8 is equal to minus 8. Now how can you write 8 as the product of two numbers? You can write 8 either as 1 into 8 or as 2 into 4. Since the product has minus sign the difference of the factor should be equal to coefficient of x. Here what is the coefficient of x? Coefficient of x is 2 or minus 2. Now what is the difference of 1 and 8? The difference of 1 and 8 is not equal to 2. But the difference of 2 and 4 is equal to the coefficient of x here. Therefore, in order to factorize this, let us write this minus 2x as plus 2x and minus 4x. You come across this model in 9th class. Okay, now you see x square, this minus 2x can be written as minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. You see what is minus 4x plus 2x? Minus 2x only. Therefore, it is equal now, no problem. Now you take x common from the first two terms. If you take x common in x square, we have another x minus 4x. Out of 4x, if we take this x common, we have minus 4. Similarly, from the next two terms, you take 2 common now. If you take 2 common, 2 into x minus 4. Now, here also x minus 4. In this term also, you can find x minus 4. Therefore, take x minus 4 common. x minus 4 into x plus 2. Therefore, the factors of the given quadratic polynomial x square minus 2x minus 8 is x minus 4 and x plus 2. Now, we have to find the 0. Now, in order to find the 0, the polynomial is equal to 0 and then we have to find the value of the variable. The 0 of the polynomial means the value of the variable for which the total polynomial becomes 0. Therefore, to find the 0 of the polynomial this one which is nothing but x minus 2 into x plus 2 is equal to 0, let us equate the polynomial to 0. If the product of two numbers is equal to 0, either the first number may be 0 or the second may, number may be 0. If the first is 0, that is if x minus 4 is 0, then x is equal to minus 4 either side plus 4. And if x plus 3 is equal to 0, then x is equal to plus 2 other side minus 2. Now we got two zeros. One zero is 4 and the second zero is minus 2. So, the zeros of P of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8 are 4 and minus 2. Now, let us find the sum of the zeros. 1 zero is 4 and the second zero is minus 2. 
Then what is the sum of the zeros? Sum of the zeros means you have to add both. What is 4 minus 2? 2. Sum of the zeros is 2. And let us find the value of minus b by a. Here, the given quadratic polynomial is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c. Then, a value is 1, b value is minus 2, and c value is minus 8. Then, minus b by a means minus b value is minus 2 by a value is 1. What is minus of minus? It is plus 2 by 1, which is equal to 2. If you observe, the sum of the zeros value is 2. By finding the value of minus b by a, also we got the same value. Therefore, the sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a. And now let us find the product of the zeros. Product of the zeros means here one zero is 4 and the second zero is minus 2. If you find the product 4 into minus 2 is minus 8. Now let us find c by a. c by a. c value is minus 8 and a value is 1. Minus 8 by 1. This is equal to minus 8. If you observe these two, again these two are equal. Therefore, product of zeros is equal to c by a. Is it clear now? Strange? You please verify again. Here we know that the sum of the zeros is minus b by a and product of the zeros is equal to c by a. Here in this case we found the zeros and in the first case we found the sum of the zeros from the known values and we took the formula and we calculated. Both the values got same. Therefore sum of the zeros we wrote minus b by a. And again we found the product of the zeros from the known values. Then we took the ratio of C and A, we got the same value. Then we wrote product of the zeros is also equal to C by A. This is how we verified both the relationships between the zeros and the coefficients A, B, C. A, B, C are the coefficients of this quadratic polynomial because this is in the form of AX square plus BX plus C. A means coefficient of X square. B means coefficient of X. And C means constant term. Is it clear now? Okay, good. Now, let us solve 60 bit now. It is given that the polynomial 3x square minus x minus 4. Now, again, let us find the factors for this given quadratic polynomial. In order to find the factors, let us multiply the constant term with coefficient of x square. Coefficient of x square is 3 and constant term is minus 4. 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. Now, how can you write 12 as the product of two numbers? You can write it either 1 into 12 or in the form of 2 into 6 or as 3 into 4. Now, after writing all these different types, look at the sign of the product. The sign of the product has minus sign. It is minus. Since the product has minus sign, the difference of these factors should be equal to coefficient of x. Here, what is the coefficient of x? Coefficient of x is minus 1. Now, what is the difference of 1 and 12? Not equal to 1. Leave it. What is the difference of 2 and 6? It is also not equal to 1. Leave it. What is the difference of 3 and 4? It is equal to 1. Therefore, let us consider this 3 and 4 to get minus x. This is equal to 3x square. In order to get minus x, take plus 3x and minus 4x plus 3x minus 4x minus 4. If you subtract 4x from 3x, you will get minus x only. Now, from the first two terms, you take 3x common. From 3x square, 3x square means 3 into x into x. If you took 3x common, x is there. Plus, this 3x means 3x into 1. If you take 3x common, we have plus 1. And from the remaining two terms, you take minus 4 common, minus 4 into x plus 1. This is equal to, if we take x plus 1 common, x plus 1 into 3x minus 4. Now, these are the two factors for the given quadratic polynomial. Now, to find the zeros of the given polynomial, px is equal to, the factors are x plus 1 and 3x minus 4 and equate it to 0. If the product of two numbers is 0, dear students, let us equate either the first number may be 0 or the second may be 0. If the first is 0, that is if x plus 1 is equal to 0, then x is equal to plus 1 other side minus 1. If 3x minus 4 is equal to 0, 
then 3x is equal to minus 4 other side plus 4 and x is equal to 4 divided by 3 these are the two zeros now the zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to 3x square minus x minus 4 or minus 1 and 4 by 3 sum of the zeros sum of the zeros is minus 1 plus 4 by 3 minus 1 is 1 zero and 4 by 3 is the second zero and let us add them sum of the zeros means let us add them minus 1 means 1 by 1 and this is 4 by 3 and 3 is the LCM 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1 by 3 now let us find the ratio to minus b to a minus b by a is equal to b value is minus 1 therefore minus b means minus of minus 1 by a value is 3 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 by 3 now if you observe these two values are equal so that you can write that the sum of the zeros is equal to minus b by a next let us find the product of the zeros product of the zeros is equal to minus 1 into 4 by 3 is minus 4 by 3 and let us find the ratio of c to a here c means constant term minus 4 by a means coefficient of x square 3 minus 4 by 3 is also equal to minus 4 by 3 if you observe again these two have the same values so that the product of the zeros is equal to c by a and the relations in between the zeros and the coefficients are verified now now look at question number two question number two find the quadratic polynomial in each case with the given numbers as sum and product of zeros the first bit 1 by 4 and minus 1 second bit root 2 and 1 by 3 fifth bit minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 I shall repeat find the quadratic polynomial in each case with the given numbers as sum and product of the zeros the first bit 1 by 4 and minus 1 second bit root 2 and 1 by 3 and fifth bit minus 1 by 4 and plus 1 by 4 you please see it here we have given the sum of the zeros and also we have given the product of the zeros the first value represents the sum of the zeros and second value represents the product of the zeros now the first bit we have given that sum of the zeros is 1 by 4 in the first bit we have given that sum of the zeros is 1 by 4 and the product of the zeros is minus 1 if we assume that the zeros are alpha and beta then sum of the zeros means alpha plus beta is 1 by 4 and product of the zeros alpha into beta is minus 1 if you know the sum of the zeros and if you know the product of the zeros then there is a formula to find the quadratic polynomial the formula with alpha plus beta and alpha beta is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta that is x square minus sum of the zeros into x plus product of the zeros this is equal to x square minus we know alpha plus beta 1 by 4 plus alpha into beta minus 1 so that this is equal to x square minus 1 by 4 into x plus alpha into beta means minus 1 here we have denominator 4 in the second term in order to remove this denominator let us multiply the total polynomial with 4 then 4 into x square is 4x square minus 4 into 1 by 4 this 4 and 1 by 4 will be cancelled and you will get minus x minus 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 how did you get this by multiplying with 4 so that you will get the polynomial as 4x square minus x minus 4 this is the quadratic polynomial in which the sum of the zeros is 1 by 4 and product of the zeros is minus 1 that is what is asked now look at the second bit second bit it is given that alpha plus beta is root 2 and alpha into beta is 1 by 3 this is sum of the zeros and this is the product of the zeros alpha plus beta is root 2 and alpha into beta is 1 by 3 again quadratic polynomial with alpha plus beta and alpha into beta is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta now let us substitute these values x square minus 
what is alpha plus beta alpha plus beta in this case is root 2 into x plus alpha into beta is 1 by 3 again you can find 3 in this denominator therefore let us multiply all these three terms with 3 if you multiply all these three terms with 3 3 into x square 3x square minus 3 into root 2 3 root 2 x plus 3 into 1 by 3 this 1 by 3 and 3 will be cancelled you will get 1 we got this polynomial by multiplying this polynomial with 3 now look at fifth bit it is given that alpha plus beta is minus 1 by 4 and alpha into beta is plus 1 by 4 again we have given the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros then the quadratic polynomial with alpha plus beta and alpha into beta is x squared minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta now let us substitute the values alpha plus beta is minus 1 by 4 x squared minus this alpha plus beta is minus 1 by 4 into x plus alpha into beta value is plus 1 by 4 here x squared this is minus of minus will be plus 1 by 4 into x plus 1 by 4 1 by 4 is there 4 is the denominator here and in this term also you can find 4 denominator therefore let us multiply all these three terms with 4 by multiplying with 4 4 into x square 4x square minus of minus will be plus 4 and this 4 will be cancelled you will get x and 4 into 1 by 4 will be 1 therefore 4x square plus x plus 1 is the quadratic polynomial in which the sum of the zeros is minus 1 by 4 and product of the zeros is plus 1 by 4. You can check. We have the formula to find the sum of the zeros if we know the quadratic polynomial. What is the formula to find sum of the zeros alpha plus beta? Minus b by a. That is minus 1 by 4. We got minus 1 by 4 only. Then what is the formula to find product of zeros? Product of the zeros is equal to c by a. Here, c is 1 by a is 4 1 by 4 it is also equal to 1 by 4 hence it is verified thank you one and all